हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हम आपके लिए अच्छे से अच्छे वीडियोस ला रहे हैं अगर आप हेडफोन लगा के हमारे वीडियोस आखिर तक देखते हो और बार बार देखते हो तो आपकी अच्छी लर्निंग होगी और आपके अच्छे स्कोर्स यानी के मार्क्स आएंगे आप टॉपर स्टूडेंट बन जाओगे क्योंकि प्रैक्टिस मेक्स मैन परफेक्ट हम आपके लिए मेहनत से वीडियो बनाते हैं सिर्फ हमारे लिए एक काम करो हमारे वीडियोज को लाइक करो चैनल सब्सक्राइब करो और सबसे महत्वपूर्ण बात बेल आइकॉन प्रेस करना ना भूलो ताकि जब भी हम नया वीडियो बनाएंगे या कोई नया अपडेट आपके लिए होगा तो तुरंत आपको मिल जाएगा हमारे वीडियोस को शेयर करना ना भूलो आपकी पढ़ाई के लिए हमने एक खास ऐप बनाया है इसमें आपके लिए होंगे क्वेश्चन आंसर्स क्वेश्चन पेपर्स भी आपको मिलेंगे इसमें और इसमें सबसे अच्छी बात जो कि एम सी क्यू टाइप क्वेश्चन यानी कि क्विज टाइप क्वेश्चन होंगे आप वहाँ पे टेस्ट दे सकते हैं और आपके तुरंत मार्क्स आपको मिलेंगे आपका परफॉर्मेंस आप खुद चेक कर सकते हैं ये ऐप आप आपको गूगल प्ले स्टोर पर मिलेगा सिर्फ आपको सर्च करना है माई बेस्ट गुरु नाम से थैंक यू एंड बेस्ट लक फॉर योर स्टडी Hello students now learn the question answers of lesson number 8 how seasons occur part 2 so dear students please like this video after watching this video and those who have not subscribed our channel please subscribe so question number 1 complete the statements using correct options 1 the apparent movement of the sun means dash dash options are a the sun revolves around the earth in a year b it appears that the sun moves to the north or south in a year c the earth keeps on changing its position it appears that the sun moves to the uh, north or south in a year so the apparent movement of the sun means it appears that the sun moves to the north or south in a year 2 if the axis of the earth were not tilted that that dash options are a the earth would not have rotated around itself b the earth would have revolved around the sun with greater velocity c different parallels of the earth would have experienced the same climate throughout the year different parallels on the earth would have experienced the same climate throughout the year if the axis of the earth were not tilted different parallels of the earth would have experienced the same climate throughout the year 3 21st june and 22 second december are solstice days that is options are a the sun starts its southward journey from tropic of cancer on 21st june and northward journey from tropic of capricorn on 22nd december b the dakshinayan of the sun takes place between 21st june and 22nd december c the uttarayan of the earth takes place between 21st june and 22nd december the sun starts its southward journey from tropic of cancer on 21st june and northward journey from tropic of capricorn on 22nd december for the revolution of the earth around the sun and the tilt of the axis of the earth together are responsible for the following seasons options are a summer rainy season retreat of monsoon and winter b summer winter and spring c summer and winter answer summer and winter question 2 answer the following questions 1 what leads to the occurrence of seasons 
आंसर रोटेशन ऑफ द अर्थ अराउंड द सन ऑन इट्स एक्सिस कॉजेस अकरन्स ऑफ सीजन्स द सीजन्स आर द रिजल्ट ऑफ द अर्थ रोटेशनल एक्सिस अवे और टुवार्ड्स द सन वाइल रोटेटिंग अराउंड द सन टू वॉट इज द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द डे ऑन इक्विनॉक्स आंसर ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट मार्च एंड ट्वेंटी थर्ड सप्टेंबर एट दिस टाइम बोथ द पोल्स आर एट सेम डिस्टन्स फ्रॉम द सन दिस पीरियड इज नोन एज इक्विनॉक्स ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द डे एंड नाइट इज इक्वल ट्वेल्व आवर्स इच Three. Why is the effect of the seasons not experienced in the equatorial region? Answer: One. In the equatorial region, the sun rays are perpendicular in most of the days in a year. Two. The amount of heat received is the same throughout the year. There is no change in the climatic condition. Three. Therefore, the effect of seasons. is not experienced in the equatorial region four why is the sun visible for more than 24 hours during dakshinayan in the region between the antarctic circle and the south pole answer one while rotating around the sun earth south pole region is facing 6 months towards the sun and North Pole region is facing six months towards the sun. Two, therefore, when the sun is there, South Pole and its region, called Antarctic Circle, faces the sun for six months. Therefore, the sun is visible for more than twenty-four hours during the sun in the region between the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole. why why are penguins not found at the north pole answer one the animals like polar bears and arctic foxes are found on the north pole two these animals would hunt the penguins in large scale as penguins cannot move fast three this would limit their survival therefore penguins are not found at the north pole dear students now question number 3 rewrite the following statements after correcting them one the earth's velocity varies according to the period of revolution answer true two if we observe from the northern hemisphere we see the apparent movement of the sun answer false we see the apparent movement of the sun if we observe from the both northern and southern hemisphere three the dates of equinox change every year answer false equinoxes are observed only on 22nd march and 23rd september four north canada experiences summer from september to march answer false north canada experiences winter from september to march five when it is summer in south africa australia has winter answer false when it is summer in south africa australia has summer 6 duration of day time is less on the vernal and autumnal equinoxes answer false the duration of the day time and night time is equal on the vernal and autumnal equinoxes Question number four. Spot the error in the diagram given below. 
so the diagram is given answer the first error is in the northern hemisphere the summer solstice is shown by 22nd december it should be 21 june two in northern hemisphere the winter solstice is shown by 21st of june it should be 22nd december question number 5 draw a diagram showing the cycle of seasons in the southern hemisphere answer kindly see the diagram and draw accordingly so you can see here in the diagram summer solstice that is on 21 june then also you can see spring equinox that is on 21 march then winter solstice that is on 22nd december in the here autumnal equinoxes sorry autumnal equinox that is on 23rd september september so the this is the figure for cycle of seasons equinoxes solstices so dear students if you want extra questions from this lesson so kindly watch our next video that is video 2 so just find the link for the next part in the description means second video for this lesson thank you extra questions मित्रों आम्मी आप चांगल चांगले वीडियोज बनवत आहोत जर तुम्हें आम चैनल सब्सक्राइब कराल आम वीडियोज इतरान शेयर कराल वीडियोज वर लाइक व कमेंट कराल तो आम्मी तुम्हारा जास्तीत जास्त वीडियोज घेन यू आम्चा मैबेज गुरु चैनल सब्सक्राइब बटन व क्लिक करूँ सब्सक्राइब करा